Previously, on Kenshi, I created, from my very loins, a perfect child. His name is Hogarth. He materialized in the desert. That's how I procreate, baby. Sans Woman. Hogarth was immediately enslaved for 25 days and eventually was able to break free and run like the Dickens. God, my boy can run. Like the wind. Curiously, the last thing he did was contemplate buying a slave, but surely that was unjust. Uh, I mean, only a psycho would escape slavery and then immediately try to buy a slave. It just honestly doesn't seem like something my perfect little boy would do. I want to buy a human or a species of equal or greater value. Okay. You might be thinking, man, this guy's got enough disposable income to purchase a slave. He must have it all figured out. You know, I just got bought by a guy that probably has a nice comfy home with a futon to sleep on. Wrong. Wrong. All right, you were purchased with my last scraps of money that I got pilfering teeth out of my cellmates' mouths in prison. Okay. But don't worry. You know, I'm a great guy. We're going to have a fun time. We're gonna, it's going to be badass. What do you say? Come on. Fuck yeah, you sound awesome. What we really need to do is find a town, set up in it, you know, like get like a little hovel, a little house or something, start brewing up some... We, we gotta come up with some schemes. Some Ed, Ed and Eddie schemes. First things first though, we just need to get away from this like disgusting area of the map. This whole area here is uh... It's just nothing but slavery. Don't you hate that bug man? Slavery? That shit's whack. We need to escape. We need to go to a more enlightened part of the world where slavery doesn't exist. Granted, you'll still be my slave. It's just like we can, I can't get enslaved. So this area here called Gut, I thought was just blue on the map. And then you look into it, it's literally blue. I was very convinced beak things weren't over here, okay? I thought beak things were more of like a West Coast thing. Like, what the hell are you doing in Gut? These things, by the way, if you haven't played this game, these things are horrific. I'm looking to hire some bodyguards for two days, 4,000 cats. So the cool thing about hired bodyguards, you know, these saps back here, they can't quite hear what we're saying, I'm talking to you, Bugman, is you can, uh, we can lure them into fights, and they're pretty strong. And then uh, if they die, we take out their fucking teeth. If they kill whoever we get them into a fight with, we can take their teeth. And before you know it, we're gonna be we're gonna have a huge fucking gym sock full to the brim of teeth. Moments later. Yeah, so it turns out in the uh, in the middle of um Vinge Vinge, there's actually not a whole lot of teeth out here. It turns out there's just roaming gangs of headless robots. But no teeth. Once again, really nothing here. Uh, and they kind of just beat the shit out of you and then run away. They, they have nothing. They don't really want anything from you. You know, don't worry, buddy. I didn't free you from slavery just to get you perpetually beaten up out in the wilds. We're going to a town and we're going to get a house. I'm going to get a white picket fence. I'm going to get one of those cool mailboxes, one of those mid-century mailboxes. No, I'm going to get one of those, like, white trash, I live 20 minutes from the beach oh, mailboxes. That's what I'm talking about. And, uh, and we're going to live happily ever after. It's going to be great. Okay, there's no way I went through 25 days of being imprisoned, learned how to lockpick like a G. They pulled all those teeth to be able to get one slave to leave headquarters, set out on an actual goddamn... Once I get my feet under me, you know, just get it all taken away by a bunch of headless robots. Are you kidding me? I'm screwed. I'm getting absolutely dumpstered on right now. Okay, through the cover of darkness. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. We need to go west to Shim. No, fuck! God damn it. <laughs> More headless goddamn robots. The second we get up off our feet, we get put back together. God damn it. This is definitely like the slowest adventure I've been on. Uh, incredibly crippled. Uh, Hogarth, my baby boy, is in some sort of coma. Shim. Okay, we're out of, like, the skeleton zone. Which is nice. 
climbing out of this butthole into the highlands. The beautiful highlands. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! God damn it! Oh god! Hide. I want to go back to the skeletons. <laughs> what kind of hell is this? We have dust bandits fighting a beak thing. And where there's dust bandits, there's teeth. Look at Hogarth, so confident. I've paid good money for these mercenaries. By God, they're gonna do my bidding. Kill them so I can get their teeth. Destroy them. You see that, boys? You know, sometimes you may get your legs broken six, seven, eight times, you know, get uh, one of your comrades killed, you know, get put into some sort of fucking coma and have to get carried around by your slave for a little bit. But eventually, things turn in your favor. A few minutes later. No! I know that these guys are about to abandon me. If I can get them to fight a shitload of starving bandits that I found last second, which are pretty much some of the weakest people in the game, then maybe I can get my money's worth. You know what I'm saying? Get them to do a couple more, a couple more ass whoopings. Get some more teeth out of them. Hey, Hogarth's down. Okay, he's down in two seconds. Not good. But these tech hunters, these guys are brick shit houses, all right? Hands down, some of the best guards, I feel like. Oh, no! Why are you, why do you plague me? <laughs> You're always here. Always here to fucking destroy me. Okay. Jump over. See ya. Oh! Dude, you guys can't leave. This is a very, very important part. Zone, yeah! Okay, for those of you that don't know anything about this game, let me tell you something, dude. If you ain't played this game before, the Border Zone is like Chuck E. Cheese, alright? Everything may look scary, everything may seem scary, but the bandits here have lead pipes. They're not gonna cut your fucking legs off or anything. They're mostly here for food, so they're only gonna steal food from you. Uh, they're not gonna like strip you of gear or enslave you or anything or eat you like the cannibals do. Uh, honestly, border zone, it's good living out here, dude. It's good living. The hub. The hub and the border zone, it's kind of like a, uh, just like an all around good town. You know, you don't have Bible study or whatever like the Akronites have. You don't have like, you, you can't get enslaved outside of it like the fucking, you, like the free cities up here, you know. If I remember correctly, it seemed like it was a pretty relaxed place. You could kind of get away with a little bit of everything, a little bit of anything. Wow, all that pain and suffering just to travel down here to realize this place fucking sucks, dude. I don't want to live here. <laughs> this place is real shitty. There's like no industry and like nobody's having a fun time. The bar is like the size of a goddamn like outhouse. What the hell? town is more my speed, to be honest. Alright, so it's not perfect. Let's see, 4,000 bucks for this. In this town, I think I can make this work, to be honest. Come on, bug man. We got work to do. What follows is a brief construction montage. I think this is coming along swimmingly. What do you think? Yeah. I'm gonna go out. You continue researching all this stuff. He's sitting there. Look at all this research he's doing. Wind generator theory. Uh, miscellaneous training dummies. Lockpick training. I'm gonna turn Hogarth here, my little boy, into a thieving mastermind. Excuse me, if I may, I'd like to take a quick little break in the video here to remind you that I made a D&D &D show with my friends Bizzlesnap, Brian, and Poop. It's called Die of Laughter. 
And here's, here's a little clip for you. See if you like it. Perfect time to see if this guy's real or if it's... Uh... Yeah, let's... Okay, I'm going to pull off his head one more... One last time. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do it once an episode, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yank on that guy's this head. This is the best time to do it. Yeah, Jeez. he's fully incapacitated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ask the what? big spider guy. Hey, big spider guy, is this dude a real we already horse guy? He's the horse guy that, and he said he, it's like his well, horse Of course head. he's going to lie about no, his own like, fucking yeah, identity. He's like in his nose and shit. I can tell you every it's... memory I ever saw with him, he was a horse. We yeah. pulled on it once or twice, but we didn't get we a didn't real get a good grip. You're going to like rip his head cat. off if no, you're not careful. Not that this strong. guy's ripped. Here, dude, There's no here, way. Here. I just want to be able to get close to him and just do like a five. I need like, a like, Just put your finger lights. in his nose, like in his horse nose. You, you've never seen a horse you nose? fake that. No, you, you, you could not fake the warmth of a horse nose. It's a dream sequence. He might have dreamt he was a real horse. We're not in a dream anymore. I know. That's why we got to check. That's why we have to check. We can find out right now for real. No, let's just rip his head off. Let's Because asshole do i it, do i have to roll for you that got to. okay you pull you i don't know what you're doing you're gonna finger his mouth four and i got a three <laughs> oh, okay. we're gonna be here for a while yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just, uh... oh, look at this as soon as you enter my little shack we have bug man here running the uh the, the counter for the store and the average customers could be oh look at this it's just a nice little store you know <laughs> wonder where they get their inventory it doesn't matter you know uh, but what they don't know is on the other side, there's this little wall. It's my thievery training. I'm training myself on assassin skills, lock picking, and thievery. And then at night, I go out and, uh, you know, I rustle up some, uh, some product from the, uh, the local townsfolk and then sell it in the store here. Um, but let me tell you something, dude. Times are a tough. Haven't had a single customer yet for some reason. I'm definitely going to do some, some studying here on the old wiki to see if I can sell stolen items in the storefront. Fuck, man. I have some horrific news. Hold on. I might want to close the door for this. Uh, I just looked at the wiki. Um... You wouldn't understand what that is. How do I put this into a, so a way that your small, tiny, little, feeble bug mind would understand? Uh, this is the Matrix. We're in a simulation, and you're actually being played by a fucking fat guy from Florida. <laughs> um, and he, he went to the wiki, which is like the rule book for this game, and it turns out you can only sell trade goods, which is stuff like, you know, like grog and hashish and... And CPU units, gears, things that are used to make other things. <laughs> are you still paying attention? Are you following me? You're you're not real. You're a simulation. <laughs> well, anyways, th this basically means that uh, the shop counter that I've been trying to put stolen goods into, so that the town's folks would have to buy back their own stolen goods and make us money. That whole plan's not going to work. It's falling apart at the seams. I should have checked the goddamn rule book first. Now what do we do? <laughs> One simple issue is making me not like a very good thief. It's a pretty simple issue. It's a glaring mistake. When you see someone that steals things for a living with their hands, what's what's one thing you would expect them to have? A person that works with their hands. You expect them, you expect them to have two hands. All right, I'm missing an arm is what I'm saying. And to the west of us, there's more of these dudes. And they specialize in making prosthesis. And so we're going to go over there and check it out. The swamp fucking sucks. I like how this is uh, about uh, like a 12 foot run from my town to this place. And we go from desert to just like raining, raining swamp, basically. Dude, these are pretty cheap. I can get like a damn good arm. Thievery, negative 97%. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Uh, is there like a really good left arm for like stealing? Like the best stealing arm you've ever seen? Boom. Oh, hell yeah. Look how cool that looks. Now I can probably... I bet you I can pick up shit now. Watch this. Whoop! I got the strength of, a, of two dads. I got two dads worth of strength. Wow, that was a very quick mission successful there. God damn. Oh, dry as can be. 
It was good to be back. Dark minions! They'll destroy us all! The hell did we do? We did nothing, dude! I came back from the hive land. What, just cause I Purge the robots! Burn them! Destroy them! Is this because I have a robot arm now? Is it because I, 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 I'm overcoming a disability? No wonder you get no pussy, dude. No fucking pussy. You guys spend all day in Sunday school. Won't even let a motherfucker get a prosthetic arm. You control your servants. The four beasts aren't so welcome in this town. You gotta be fucking me, dude. The guards did nothing when I walked by. They did nothing. It was, it was the robot arm. Here, 76% chance. See if I can do it here. Perfect. He's in an alleyway. Look at that. Take his fucking glasses, and I just walk away. Walk away like it was nothing. And this guy then gets up, and he's like, What the? What the hell? What the fuck? They took my damn pants. Took my fucking pants. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go drink the, the pain away. <laughs> The guy that I just beat his ass, I stole some sunglasses from him. I'm gonna put on the sunglasses. Ashlander Storm Goggles. Oh, these are awesome. What'll it be, my man? Haircut? Facelift? 200 cats. He doesn't at all recognize that I'm wearing his glasses. Awesome. Have you ever seen someone look cooler than how Bugman looks wearing these sunglasses? That, by the way, don't even cover his eyeballs. <laughs> I'm such a scumbag. Why am I doing this? This guy's done nothing to me. <laughs> oh, fuck my teeth! Dude, nobody saves scum harder than me. He's out. <laughs> All right, it's now morning time. I'm going to try to resell these items back welcome friend <laughs> yeah what's up boss how you doing see anything you like uh ooh, 17 percent chance to sell him back his own shit <coughs> nice <laughs> here you go there's your shirt back buddy hey you know what's funny check this out check this out all these guys right here Noted, do you notice something among these four people? One of them's a little bit different. Hmm? You notice anything there? Not only did I get all this for the uh, the shop counter, but I also got a little hat for you. It's a tricorn. I stole it, technically. That is awesome. This is a really, really tiny tricorn for the top of his head. It's like taking off a little doll. <laughs> That's badass, dude. I'm glad that fits. I'm glad I was really concerned about that. I said, this hat's far too big for Bugman, but you made it work. This place fucking sucks, dude. This place is a real ball buster. All right, there's no customers coming into my shop. Uh, I think it's because Bugman discussed them. <gasps> First customer. Hello? Hello? He didn't even take the time to fucking check out our, our gear. I don't know what to do, man. I, I think I'm just going to continue kind of training in the back here. And then I'm just going to Danny Ocean the entire city. Just steal everything. And then run like the Dickens to a more enlightened land. Uh, probably in like one of those places where it's okay to eat people.